Hello, Facebook, YouTube. All right, okay. Topic of the message. Interesting. God was, you know, talking me about uh, uh, the idea, you know, that we're, you know, of course, Genesis 1, 26. It's called made in the image and the likeness of God. Hmm. Well, here's the thing about now, uh, uh, we're made in, but all of a sudden, of course, Adam and Eve sin, you know, dawn, you know, and... And all of a sudden, sin came about. And, and you know, and God, you know, gave me an ideal image of, you know, of now because sin is in humanity, now he has to uh, get them back to where he, you know, made them and shaped them from the beginning, you know, made an image like God. But the topic of the message of... Uh, the reality of sculpting, you know, more likely divine sculpting, divine, yeah, we got to say divine sculpting, you know. Now, here's the thing, you know, uh, as you know, you know, that there are sculpt people that do sculptures, like out of, out of, ice you know they do there's ice sculptors you know and in ice sculptor what they do they take this block or how big the block is and what they do is they chisel you know the idea uh, sculptor that they're sculpting you know now now I saw this picture one time on Facebook of this guy that uh, took a stump of a tree uh, that was, you know, this tree was grew wopsided, something like that, and, and but sculpted into a, a deer and had an eagle on the deer, and you know, it was. Wow, magnificent. It was unbelievable how, you know, uh, he sculpted that out of wood. Wood, not ice, but wood. Wow, that means if he made, it, it, you have to be careful of how much you remove, because that's what's gonna be the main idea, uh, topic of the, the the scenario of the message is the removal of the scoping you know of what God is trying to do to for those that uh, want to live for him he's trying to scope them back to them being made in the image and the likeness of God you know and <laughs> But here's the problem of this uh, idea of he sculpting us being made in the image and the likeness of God. Here's the idea that God is not enjoying in this process of sculpting us. Um, we have to give him permission to uh, sculpt and make, you know, uh, and shape us. Yes, we got to more likely allow God to uh, sculpt and shape and make us. So therefore, if we, you know, uh, you know, a sinner in sin or in this ideal mindset, a uh, uh, block of ice that, you know, uh, we when he's trying to chisel, that chisel hits the, you know, uh, ice and it removes and and the thing is is removing but removing how much is what I find out people will have a problem with how much God is removing from out of them you know and the thing is a lot of people you know don't understand that you know 
it's gonna that the whole idea of being a Christian is about removing uh but in order for the uh divine sculpt the uh, piece that he needs to sculpt how you doing you know in, in order for him to do that he has to um he has to uh chisel certain areas and certain parts that does not fit in the ideal sculpture that he's looking for Yes, and we have a problem with that ideal in the process. Because I keep telling people, that number one, you better learn about being a Christian. It's a journey. Like, uh, you know, God taught me about the Jesus journey. Uh, the Jesus journey is not, you know, a trip, uh, born in a manger in Bethlehem, zoop, in a tomb. no. That's not the Jesus, I mean, in the tomb, risen, bam, he lives. That's not the Jesus journey. Jesus journey has a process that you have to go through certain things and experience certain things and learn certain things to, in, to a point that you start to uh, get to the place of fulfilling, you know, you, the purpose. Of course, like I said, Genesis 1 26, being made an image of light of God. Is the purpose and that we are supposed to go after and are willing, ready and willing to go after. But Jesus, uh, if you know you you look at the things that Jesus went through concerning the uh, starting from the Garden of Gethsemane to all the way to the cross, that that was that if you look in the spirit and concerning my message, that was the chisel process that was the chiseling process being you know mocked at being slapped being ridiculed being humiliated being betrayed being you know beaten 39 lashes with a crown of thorns on his head all that in being you know all the stuff he went through you know that was the chiseling process of the idea that God wanted uh God Jesus to go through because uh Jesus said not my will but thine will and that was the will of God concerning the purpose of what he came here to do and what God is asking you know us to do is he's asking us to get Christ in us that we will have the ability to be chiseled and to be sculpted and make to what he want us to be. You know what I'm saying? Like it says in the scriptures that, you know, God is, it says that God's doing a work in us. God is doing a work in us. He's, do, he's trying to work and finish us to be the sculpture that he desires us to be. But the problem is we need faith, God taught me. We need faith, you know, or as what Jesus is a faith full servant we need faith to help us you know um give us the ability to be chiseled because you notice when you have faith god put you in situations and circumstances and situations that are you know you know that will cause harm to you or uh, you or harm to others that we're supposed to uh you know believe and have faith and trust in god that we go through this process that you know what people don't understand that process is a chiseling situation. You know what I'm saying? It's the removal of the things that are not of God. Of course, fear that you know one of the main things that God has to remove and all kind of stuff, lust and you know pride, uh, all kind of ugly stuff that is hindering the process of us becoming made in the image and likeness of God. But the scriptures talks about God is, you know, trying to finish the work inside of us that he will take us through the chiseling process, the work. Now, the part I really want people to understand this idea that we are in charge, well, we still are in charge of how, if we're going to be chiseled, made in the image and likeness of God, you know, or not, or we be halfway done. Or as what Jesus call it, or we become lukewarm, that we uh, do not give God the chance to 
finish the work inside of us that we don't uh, be the image that he wants us to be. That God, Jesus saying, you know what I'm saying, revelations that, you know, he's not going to accept half worked. Yeah. He's not going to say, he's not going to accept this half worked uh, process chisel. He's going to only accept the chiseled all the way. And guess what? And when we're chiseled, guess what we're going to say? We're going to say, ow. We're going to say, ah, it's going to hurt. And, you know, I tell people, you know, it's called no pain in the flesh, no gain in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Really is what God is, you know, going to be seeing, you know, concerning us, you know, trying to be made in the image and likeness of God. But we strive each and every day of our life trying to achieve this, you know, goal of, you know, being made in the image like God. But the key thing, like I said, I want to repeat this message, is how much we allow God to do that is up to us of what we put inside of ourselves. If we, the faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God, how much we hear the word of God, how much we, by faith, apply the word of God, how much we, you know, do this, will will determine how much we can become chiseled to be sculpted and you know made in the image that he want us to be is what we need to see concerning this process and and as much you know in the Jesus journey of you know like you know uh the ideal of you know that I see people have a trouble with the part when Jesus you know yielded himself to the Jewish officers to get arrested and you know, the, the disciples flee, or in our case, the friends will flee. You know, you know how much we love our friends, to want our friends to be around us. But I see a lot of people have that problem. They want to, you know, because they choose to go to a direction because they want to follow their friends. And that kind of chiseling process is what a lot of people, you know, struggling with. But you need to understand that, you know, there's no friend like the like the Lord Jesus. You know what I'm saying? No greater friend, no greater, you know, love that, you know, that will lay down his life for his friend. And when you understand and develop Christ in you and the friend that you have and understand you have a friend in Jesus, they can flex. They can go. You straight, you all good, you all right. You know what I'm saying? You don't mind to for the chisel remove removing of friends or Associates, I call them. You know, y'all call them friends. In the kingdom of God, we call them associates that you just love to socialize with. I don't know if they're your friends, you know, that will be there to the end and help support you in all things in shape or form and help you become a better person and lead you to be a better person, which friendship should supposed to be all about. They help you achieve and accomplish goals in life and help better yourself. Or, you know, the opposite, be jealous that you're trying to be better than them and exceed and achieve, do things them, and they do things and lie on you and talk bad about you and betray you and do all kinds of stuff. That's not really a friend. That's more likely associate. But that's another message. But anyway, but God has to remove, chisel certain people that, that are like that off you. And, you know, and that's, I see a, that's a popular, well, pattern that people need to understand that you will find a friend in Jesus that will never leave you or forsake you. And that it's called, it requires removing. And removing of attention. Oh, Lord, that attention. My goodness. How people love the attention of men. That, you know, the conformer. You know, you're a conformer. If you love and desire to do things for the attention of men, you are a conformer. According to Romans 12, 2. But God desires us to be transformers. Only transformers that are living sacrifices can, you know, uh, you know, be chiseled. You know what I'm saying? Because your sacrifices mean that you're giving away, like the song says, give yourself away, giving up your, your life. You know what I'm saying? You're committed of giving up your life, your time, your uh, energy, your knowledge. You're giving yourself away to God that God can use you is what only people will understand about the chiseling that God can sculpt and finish the work that he desires to finish that he will be the divine sculptor 
that uh, he wants to be for you. All right, that's the top of the message. To God be the glory, him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.